Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultra Reacts and my goodness, alright, my goodness, it, it, it's here, it's finally here, okay, um, one of the most hotly anticipated girl group debuts I can remember, well, at least of the year, at the very least I'll say of the year, um, mostly because of a certain person in this group, but also just, um, it's, it's Hybe's next girl group, or at least it's the, well, I guess, this is their first girl group, I guess, since kind of, that's not kind of included from, like, Source, like, I guess, G-Friend was, or these, like, I guess this is their, like, first girl group. I hope I'm correct in saying that. But, um, yeah. So the hype is, the hype is at maximum. I did not know. I wanted to, I left this open, because I wanted to give a shout-out to the creative director, New Kim. I wanted to give a shout-out to her. I wanted to give a shout-out to... I'm actually going to put all of these names in the description. So this might be a longer description because I'm putting everything that's in their description in terms of photography, the director, the performance, because that aspect of their pre debut stuff was absolutely sublime. It was masterful. It was a masterclass in how to market a group and build kind of hype around a group. This, I mean, I've, I haven't seen a concept like this really done. And they kind of went through a couple of different concepts. And I haven't watched all of the different concept videos and kind of the ones for each, you know, individual member. Because um, I didn't want to really spoil anything for the song. Um, I've only seen glimpses and seconds and I was just blown away about just from the top to the bottom. The, 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 the scale... The, even just things as little as the graphics and, and their title card for their name just kind of it blew me away. So I'm very excited to see what this... I'm very excited about this music video. Um, excited to see what this song is about. Um, of course, we got some of the uh, IZO members in here. I'll list off the members. We got Che Wan, um, 2009. Uh, English name is Anna Kim, born in Seoul. Former Izo member for those who do not know. Of course, we've got the the the, the girl Sakura, uh, 1998 Izo member. Of course, uh, she was the first member revealed. We've got Yunjin, 2001. Okay, we've got Kazua, who's 2003, so she's 18. That feels weird that people born in 2003 are 18 now. Well, she turns 18 this year, but uh, Kazua, um, she's also a Japanese line, and we've got Garam. Who's 2005? My goodness, 2005, and lastly, Inche, who is 2006. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, um, yeah. So we we've got a scale of ages. We've got 98 all the way to 2006, and not at the beginning of 2006, at the end of 2006. So we have a wide range of ages, which makes it very interesting to see what uh this concept is going to be like. I do not know everybody by name, so you guys can feel free to give me more information on each member or anybody that I like point out. Um, I know chaewon has got the shorter hair, so I'll probably be able to recognize her. I also know her vocal, she's a great vocalist as well. Um, Sakura, I also might be able to point out, but do not guarantee me on that. But uh, yeah, six person group, love that, it's a pretty magical number. Um, this intro has been super duper long, but remember as always to like, share, and subscribe if you guys are enjoying the content, and as always remember to... Uh, Leave comment. I know some of you guys have. Uh, I was gone last week done with some personal stuff, but uh, hopefully I'm back a little bit more this week, even though I do have some personal stuff to attend to in the middle of this week, um, pertaining to some of the events that uh, unfortunately happened, which I appreciate you guys' condolences and all that stuff um, this week. But uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm back. We're here. We're going to upload this and the podcast today. Um, and yeah, get this out on debut day for less Listen, less suffering. Less suffering. Let's start Le Seraphim. Le Seraphim. Le Seraphim. Le Seraphim. That sounds French almost. But um, yeah, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, that's one of the hotly anticipated debuts of 2022. The concept looks amazing. Let's see what the song is. There we go. We're going to run it back. I 
like her voice. Whoever, ooh, ooh. Okay. I love the way this is filmed. I abs I absolutely adore the way this is filmed. In this, first off, we started off with like the workout concept, but uh, this entire scene and then that match cut to like it flipped. I want to see what it says in the back as well. But whoever this is, let me know in the comment. Uh, I love her voice. Love her voice. I like the kind of beat so far as well. It's been good. <laughs> Oh, so we, 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 we dance in this group. We dance. We, 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 we really do this dancing thing. Okay. Okay. Choreo. Okay. 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 Now, I heard some things about the song before going into this. But, I, of course, I wanted to hear it for myself. Right? And that's why I didn't listen to anything. Right? I heard some things about some people being... But I was cool. I don't know. Maybe it's because that's my style. But I, I was perfectly fine with the, like, chill kind of rhythmic chorus. I was actually fine with that. At least on first, you know, first hearing that. I was actually fine with that. That was cool with me, the chorus. Um, again, I love the way this is filmed, kind of going through the mirroring. Um, and it's kind of like a workout film. They're kind of in workout tire. We got workout tire in the background. Um, and yeah, I'm, 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 I'm loving this. I love the black and white. I love, I don't know, they're filming this on like an AK or some ridiculous camera. Um, I'm going to say that about a million times. Shout out to the director of photography. Once again, I put that in the description for this video. Um, yeah, shout out to that person because this is a... I don't know what it is. I just... I really like this music video. All right, she's she's definitely um, she's definitely she's she's in the lead right now for bias. We're not going to declare one today. This is the day debut, but she is in as a woman at twenty three seconds of their career. She is in the lead. Okay. She's got a different type of vocal tone. I like that I'm rapping tone. I'll say it. I said. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. I say it. Because I know it's gonna be a discussion point. I like that part of the choreo because it goes with the beat. I heard they took that part out, which I understand because there are minors in this group, and that is a uh, not so minor, I guess, choreo move. Respectfully, I liked it for the the song because it went with the beat. I was fine with it in the music video. Maybe it's because I'm not a perv and I'm not looking at them in that way. I'm just appreciating them as performers. But I personally had no problem with it. But I completely understand why that was taken out, um, if that was taken out. But I had no problem. It was a nicely shot scene as well. Once again, I'm liking the elements of black and white. It looks like we're in space on like a chessboard right here. Um, yeah. Once again, this is a, this is a in the music video. The the concept is just is is insane. It's just insane. Um, it's insane. I'm, I'm, I don't think there's, which is very different from usual hype, that there does not appear to be a story in this music video. Um, 
but I'm fine with it. That is that's fine. Not every music video has to have some type of you know intricate story or lore that's going in behind. Even though it's a trademark of K-pop, it doesn't have to be you know with it throughout you know every single music video. So sometimes you know it's just a nice music video. It's a nicely shot music video. Um, the kind of workout game kind of works with the. Uh, I just banged. You know you're getting dust chin. I don't know if y'all can hear that, and it probably really it made the camera shake. With that dun 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 dun, dun, dun that's kind of in the chorus. It kind of goes with that. It makes you feel like you're working out. So I kind of get that. And it has that almost like '90s feel, but um, yeah, or '80s ish, '80s '90s kind of feel. But uh, yeah, I've been fine with it. <laughs> Beautiful. That's a hard ending. That's what it means. Wow. Wow. How did I not pick up on that? Wow. I forget what that's called. Where it's like if you kind of scribble the letters, it comes down and it comes something else if you scribble. I forget what that is, phrase is called or what that is called. But I did not pick up on that. That's very, very cool. Nice detail. Right? Um, and of course, you got a cool outro graphic. Do you think I'm fragile? I do not. I think y'all have a lot, of, a lot of potential, actually. Y'all could be very, very strong. This is a... I, I know I heard some people were underwhelmed by the song. I'm gonna be honest, I was not. I don't know. Then again, I'm more into that kind of like hip hop ish, R and B ish kind of that like smoother sound like we had in that course. I can get I understand some people may want some like banger, some bombastic, grandiose, you know, you know, mega like I don't know, like super party song for like their debut. Like uh Boombaya, right? So maybe somebody wanted something, you know, that type of flavor. But I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. This is different. This is different. This is different, and I, I can appreciate that. That's kind of like an avenue. I've alerted to the rest of the album, you know, to see the rest of the versatility. But I was fine with this. I can understand why some people, maybe they wanted like a banger, but this was still a very good song, at least in my opinion. Um, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. Nice your vibe. Um, and of course, the music video is gorgeous. Again, not like a big, like, intricate story. So if you're, you know, people that value a story in a music video, I can see why you might be disappointed. But it was a very gorgeously shot music video. The concept with kind of going to the workout and then going into, like, the dresses. It was interesting kind of contrast there. The use of black and white I adored. And, uh, yeah, the fits were good. They sounded great. I kind of also like that they didn't really lean on the Eyes on, or Eyes One. They didn't lean on the produced members. You know what I mean? You didn't see a lot of Sakura or see a lot of Che in this MV or in this song, really. Um, they were used, but they weren't like the focus. And I know sometimes when you bring groups that have former produced members, you can overuse those members and it can kind of cloud over the other members. They don't really get to shine because you want to use the popularity of the already famous members. But they didn't really do that. So I can appreciate that. I'm going to go back and watch some of their teasers and introductory stuff. Um, but yeah, I was impressed. I was impressed. It's going to be interesting to see what the future. Of course, they've got hype, so they've got all the backing in the world. Um, and also, just kind of the, the ranges in age is almost similar to like a, a red velvet between like Irene and like uh, Yeri. So it'll be very interesting to see what their kind of future is. But uh, I definitely think they've, they've got some staying power. I haven't heard the rest of the album. But um, yeah, this is a very good, this is a good debut. This is a good debut. In my opinion, y'all can let me know how y'all feel, but I was impressed. I saw the potential, I saw the upside. Everybody did their thing again. I love choreo. They look like they're gonna be one of the better dancing, you know, girl groups. So uh, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. But yeah, guys, let me know who the redhead was. Cause she might be a bit on And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Without further ado, Ocho, signing off.